Hey, what's up, guys? I just wanted to do a quick behind the scenes, behind the page with my little raccoons here that I did on live stream. I'm pretty sure I did these guys on live stream. I have a lot of other work actually on this canvas. As you'll see, this is uh, going through a lot of the other images. I always take my images and I put them on a canvas and then I start, you know, doing my drawings. So there's a lot of drawings here. I'm going to skip past these. But eventually I can do a behind the scenes on all of these. If, uh, if you'd like, just leave me a comment and I, I'm happy to do that. But now we're going to go right to our little... Um, here they come. So I drew this little robot character and he actually got me inspired to... I was also drawing some raccoons, uh, doodling raccoons and seeing some cool images of uh, Far From the Tree, which is an, a, an animated... I think it's an animated short before Encanto. So uh, I've been seeing a lot of that on Instagram and it made me want to draw some raccoons. So I, so I was drawing these kind of robotic sort of figures and then I decided let me just make a raccoon in one because why not? And then I just started drawing a bunch of raccoons and he slowly, you can see he's slowly turning into a raccoon more and more and then you have his, the little robotic raccoon. And then all these other little, little guys. Make sure you can see this nice and clear, clearly. And these are my, I mean, I love doing these little sketch pages. You know, just sort of having fun with it and make it this a little bigger. Yeah, just having fun with it and um, drawing all sorts of little characters and little in poses and things like that. Uh, one of the things I love to do, uh, I don't get enough time to do it lately. There's just so much other, there's, there's so much more that comes along with like even social media, Instagram and things like that. Like, uh, you know, these are the, some of the first times that I've just gotten burned out by, you know, creating artwork and uh, dealing with social media like Instagram and YouTube and uh, you know there is a fair amount of like responsibility that comes with getting to a certain point in in trying to make it a career and trying to make money from it um, you know it just can be a lot and and social media just in general can be a lot oh let me skip past this because that was a commission that I'm not allowed to show yet so I guess I can edit that out. But here's the other, these are the more recent raccoons that, um, that I've been sketching out. And this is the raccoon, this is the one that I tried to draw in 3D. Well, try to make in 3D. I'm still, I'm still working on it. He's def, he's not nearly as cute in 3D right now. He's looking kind of funny. So, but I've been doing a lot, I've been doing a lot of those videos on live. I was going to do this on, I was going to do this, record this on OBS so you can see me and things like that, but uh, I, th I think this is the clearer video when I record it from my phone, so I figured I'd go with the, the clearest video for now. Although the new computer has been great in terms of, um, in terms of quality doing my live videos, which I'm very happy about. And I'm sure everyone who watches the live videos are very happy because it was pretty bad before. And it was really, really annoying to always get comments about how bad the quality is. And, you know, it's really tough to have a high standard of quality because uh, you really need the best equipment to really do well. And we're all used to, like, MKBHD and, you know, YouTubers that have a major following and have the the funds and have the the experience and all this stuff and have the time and have the ability to do this full time so they have all the you know really really great equipment uh, meanwhile I was just working with a an old iPad pro uh, an old M MacBook Air but I love this little I love this little raccoon these are so these are raccoons are so fun to draw I just get on these kicks where there's so many animals that I just I, I have fun drawing like frogs and reptiles and amphibians I just love it. But these guys are so cute. 
They're really, really cute. And all it takes is me seeing like, you know, a couple of them on Instagram or seeing, you know, I, I screenshot everything. I screenshot art I love on Instagram, artists I like. I'll screenshot things that I like. And then I'll, I, I dissect it and I try to figure out what it is that I like about certain things. I think that's very, very important. Just figure out why you like something. You know, figure out what it is that makes it look appealing to you. Or figure out what it is that makes something look cute. That makes something look uh, right. And the more you do it, the more you'll see. I was just writing someone back on my one of my YouTube both my YouTube videos about flipping the canvas and they were kind of saying that it's in in so many words that you know what's the point of flipping the canvas you know our faces aren't the same aren't symmetrical and it's not about being symmetrical it's more about when you draw something when we draw as humans you know I'm right-handed so I'm gonna be seeing everything on the left side looking diagonally like this on my on my canvas even for all of these guys um, you know, we don't look, we don't look at, at everything straight down. We don't look at everything perfectly. So flipping the canvas is just a way to, for you to see how uneven things are when you draw them, because it's, it's basically just the mechanics of our eyes and the way that our eyes work and where we have to be looking when we draw. You know, we have two eyes, so we're looking at everything in, from two different perspective, from two different angles. So it just helps with that. And the more you see it, the more you can fix it. I can see when other artists, I can see when their eyes are not proportionate to one another. I'm not saying that they're symmetrical, but when they're not proportionate to one another. And it's also something that I have had to work with. Because it's little things like this, even this, I can see that how the eyes are slanted. I can probably slant this eye, this eye a little bit further down. You know, there's all these little things that I notice now, um, you know, with my with my art. And that's part of, of being a professional. And once you get to a certain point, you notice lots of little things like that. And you notice when, you notice people that don't fully understand it yet. But anyway, I just wanted to do a quick behind the page and um, if, if you were watching me draw this live last night, there was a raccoon outside. Well, tonight I was able to record him, so I wanted to leave you with this lovely raccoon footage in the backyard. All right. Peace out from Brooklyn. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really appreciate you. Be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Drug Free Dave. And don't forget to join my private Facebook group, Procreate Tutorials and Guidance. Check me out on Facebook. Hopefully I'll see you guys soon. And as always, keep drawing and I'll see you in the next video.